Grace and peace, welcome to Worship with St. John's, and Merry Christmas. Christmas is not just a single day on which we celebrate the birth of Christ, but a season of 12 days, hence the 12 days of Christmas, in which we continue to celebrate Christ's coming among us. Now, we didn't get to do our annual children's Christmas pageant this year, but Ridgely and I still wanted to find a way to include the children and youth in our celebration of Christ's birth. So this service today will be a lessons and carols service led by our children and youth. Next Sunday, we will be celebrating the Lord's Supper together, and our Advent Tree of Hope on the Carriage House porch has now become our Christmas Tree of Hope. It will remain up until the Holy Day of Epiphany on January 6th, which marks the end of the season of Christmas, so you can still stop by the church anytime, take one of the star-shaped ornaments that's there with the tree, and you can write on it a hope a wish, a prayer, even a, a joy, a celebration that you have, and you can hang that on the tree. Uh, but now the bells are going to play, O come all ye faithful. So let us once again celebrate the birth of Christ, the coming of Emmanuel, God with us. Let us worship God. morning's prayer of invocation. Let us pray. Emmanuel, God with us, we give you thanks that we have made it to the Christmas season. God, we give you thanks for the gift to celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus. And as we revisit that familiar story to us, we pray that your spirit might breathe something new out of it for us to understand you in a new way, to commit ourselves to you in a new way, and to grow in your grace known in that tiny baby in a manger with the star overhead on a dark, dark night. 
we pray in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative, Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I, here I am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you the good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them.
reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone was coming to the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, he who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is closer to the Father's heart, who has made it known. Has come a light in the darkness, love shines forth in the Bethlehem skies. See how heaven has come to proclaim it, hear how the song of joy arises. Love, love, born unto you, a Savior, love, love, glory to God on high. Love is born, come share in the wonder, love is God now asleep in the hay. See the glory in the eyes of his mother, what is the name her heart is saying? Love, love, love is the name she whispers, love, love, Jesus Emmanuel. Love has come and never will leave us, love is life everlasting and free. Love is Jesus within and among us, love is the peace hearts are seeking, love, love. Love is the gift of Christmas, love, love, praise to you, God on high. May you carry forth from here the hope, peace, joy, and love that are fulfilled in the coming of Christ. And as we continue to celebrate the good news that God is with us, May God be with you, and may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever, and all God's people said, Amen. Go in grace and peace to love and serve the Lord.